a little more into our culture is that um, why Ukrainians are so strong and why they're fighting, uh, defending their country. I think they're just fed up with uh, starting from World War II and being under Russian regime and uh, being in a co communist country that, uh, or, or I should say, under a communist regime where nobody likes that. Um, uh, you know, everybody wants to be a writer and not be punished for it. Everybody uh, that wants to be a musician this wants to not be punished for it. Um, and uh, like here today, we, I'm, I'm, I'm in business for myself. I own a design-build construction company in Watertown, and I choose to work hard. I don't have to work hard. I choose to work hard. Um, and my hard work, I pass on to help my kids, to help my wife, essentially help my parents, uh, or one parent I have left that works with me. Um, and to, to, I remember when this invasion happened, I said to my wife, imagine right now we have a four-year-old and a one-and-a-half-year-old and your 65-year-old mother and my 64-year-old mother because we both left, uh, lost our fathers for one reason or another. Um, and just to pack up all of our stuff right now and never come back to our home, never. Never see our business, never see what we have developed over the years, just leave forever, possibly. And I, I, I'm very thankful that I'm here. I'm very thankful that we, we, we don't have to go through this. But often I ask myself, why am I so lucky to have what they don't? So in response to those thoughts, uh, my wife and I, especially her, she, she deserves, deserves all the credit, uh, decided to reach out to the local Arlington area where we're from and um, uh, use the resources of social network um, and reach out to the local community which, which, where we got a humongous response. Um, literally people just bring in um, everything from personal hygiene to diapers to batteries to medical supplies, even money. Some people even said, uh, here's a thousand dollars from us and spend it how you think is right. So we've been using the cash for um, uh, sending, paying for the packages because unfortunately, even though it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a very vulnerable time for Ukraine. Nobody wants to really send them for free, uh, especially due to uh, a higher fuel cost today. So we use that to send the packages. My wife repackages everything that people send, uh, bring to us. Um, it's difficult. It, we have two kids, but I can only imagine. I was, I was talking to my aunt the other day. I said, I don't even have a life. I said, it's either kids or work or, uh, or doing the charitable work. And she said to me, do they have a life? And I said to myself, I should not even think that way. Because they would probably take what I have all day long. Um, the other day, my cousin who achieved uh, a pretty high rank in, in, the, uh, in the IRS uh, police, uh, where it's a little different there, this IRS police there, where they can arrest you, they can um, do some harm to your business if you're not paying taxes, uh, unless, unlike it's here. Um, so regardless, he achieved a lot of uh, achievements for his, uh, for his age at 33 years old. He's, he's in charge of the uh, uh, western part of Ukraine uh, uh, from... from from his perspective, from, uh, from the IRS standpoint. And now he's defending the country with uh, literally not even uh, a vest on his chest. Uh, I mean, uh, a bulletproof vest. Um, so he, we were talking and I said, how's it going? He goes, you wanna hear how it's going? And he lowers his uh, window uh, on his door and turns the phone on on the speaker and it's a siren. He's like, this is how we live all day long. 
of the siren. We don't know. Maybe something's going to hit something, maybe not. Uh, but we have to hide. We have to um, cherish our resources and not knowing w how much food we're going to have left. But I'll tell you guys, one biggest, one, one thing that I think is what's holding up Ukraine and, and the spirit of everyone is an enormous response from the world. Enormous.